Hello and welcome, this is going to be my no mess review of Remnant from the Ashes that I purchased on PS4 but is available across other platforms as well. So to start off I don't know whether this is a game that I would actually recommend to friends. There are a few problems with it and I'll quickly glance over them because I want to get to why this game is actually pretty good. The problems are the graphics aren't the best, they're probably 6 out of 10 including the textures and the animations are pretty mediocre. The other problems are the scaling in the game. So leveling up your weapons and stuff doesn't feel amazingly great as you do it and progress through the game because stuff can still kind of scale with you. So you won't be too overpowered, but you can still over level an area or under level an area depending on your gear. Probably the biggest issue with the game though is it's matchmaking. It's just a public system unless you've got friends and you don't know really where they're going to be in the game. I did unfortunately get to a point in the game where I couldn't kill a boss so I had to grind and I thought best do it in some public games. It would be more fun to do it with randoms and I ended up eventually coming up against the last boss of the game. Now I was halfway through the game at best and fighting the last boss in the game felt completely out of place. I didn't know what to do and it was kind of really big spoilers so that was unfortunate. So what's kind of in the middle not good and not bad is the boss fights. Now the boss fights themselves are designed pretty well I think. They're kind of generic in places. Other places kind of taken from Dark Souls aka I don't know what they're called X1, X5 and X6. Which is basically Dark Souls Moonlight Butterfly times two one each side of a bridge. It's kind of fun to fight. I've done it solo and I actually did it. But in the end, a lot of the boss fights come down to you having to manage a butt ton of ads or enemies that just run out the walls or spawn somewhere or come to kill you while you're actually trying to kill the boss itself. This is why I had to grind in the end because I just couldn't kill the Undying King, which literally has an army behind him that he can summon at will. Now on to why I think the game is actually pretty fun and good. The gameplay is just too good to pass up. It is just a generic third person shooter if you think about it. But the gameplay holds up very well. There hasn't really been any problems I think that have come across to make me want to stop playing the game. Either it's been a little hard and the bosses have taken a lot out of me. The Undying King took about 10 tries, I think, solo. But in the end, I actually managed to do it. And it was fun. It was a weird boss fight because of all the ads, but it was fun to actually complete. Kind of like that Dark Souls feeling, but not quite there because of the punishment you took from the ads just being annoying. But overall, the gameplay itself was something I can say I would buy the game for. I've got 16 hours into the game and I haven't finished the storyline because I think the story is kind of one of the subpar parts of the game. And I'm going to enjoy the game before I actually finish it. I want to play with a few more randoms. I just want to check it out. That's why there won't be any footage of me actually finished in the game because I won't finish it for a while. I want to enjoy it and that's a good thing. So overall for my final review, I'm going to give this game a 7 out of 10. Just because of the gameplay holds up so much, it's just so fun to play. Even if it is kind of generic, even if it does take after other stuff, I think that kind of knocks it down from a 8 out of 10 to a 7 out of 10 because it copies a little bit and it looks like other games a bit too much, aka Darksiders, but that's just graphics. Otherwise, the game itself isn't pretty, it doesn't have an amazing soundtrack, it's okay overall. It's just completely carried by the gameplay, which isn't a bad thing. I certainly enjoyed it. If you fancy picking it up, I hope you enjoy it too. That's going to be the end of this review. Thank you for joining me and I hope to see you next time.